Welcome to the Integrated Information Technology Vision of the Windsor Essex Catholic District School Board. I am John Ulichny, Superintendent of Education, and it is with great pleasure that the ET2 team shares with you some of the outstanding things that are happening with respect to integrated information technology within the Windsor Essex Catholic District School Board. ET2 was named to reflect that we as a board are bringing educational technology directly to you. The you representing the end users are staff, students, and stakeholders in the system. The team is comprised of myself as superintendent with oversight responsibilities for information technology, Doug Sadler, vice principal of online learning, Paul Haggart and Nazar El Cadre, educational technology, library resource support personnel, Elizabeth Fair, library media coordinator, and Joe Sisko, our board e-learning contact. Paul, Nazar, and Elizabeth are new additions to the team added to assist the board in moving forward with its 21st century vision for integrated information technology. Simply put, integrated information technology allows staff and students to create, curate, collaborate, and communicate through digital platforms. At the onset of this school year, the ET2 team created several goals that help shape the overall direction for 2012-2013. Specifically, the team wished to assist in making learning technology relevant and useful, assist in helping staff deliver the ministry curriculum more effectively by showcasing digital tools and modeling exemplary practices, assist in the development of higher order critical thinking skills for both staff and students, assist in the creation of interactive learning spaces that encourage print and digital technology that complement the Ontario curriculum, assist in enhancing communication at the school level for all stakeholders. It is by design that each goal began with the word assist because the ET2 team functioned as support personnel for schools as they embarked on integrating information technology throughout their school community. And the journey began with this in mind. Make technology accessible anytime, anywhere, from any device. In order to deliver this type of access, the board's stable internet network was required as the backbone to increase accessibility. The board's initial expansion of Wi-Fi specifically targeted libraries as wireless hotspots. The addition of Wi-Fi to individual school sites on a larger scale has played a significant role in providing schools with the ability to increase technological opportunities for staff and students. Our school system serves over 22,000 students and their parents and guardians. Our administrators, teachers, and support staff play critical roles in expanding the 21st century vision for integrated information technology across the board. Specifically, members of the ET2 team will address the success of our Tools to Go project, the impact of blended learning, and the reshaping of school libraries and classrooms. In addition, they will highlight digital communication methods that deliver anytime, anywhere, for any device access. Any integrated information technology vision can only become a reality within the Windsor-Essex Catholic District School Board. When we are reaching our students at their level, and when schools provide similar opportunities and learning environments that our students have access to while not in our care, our classrooms, our libraries, our school buildings, and our instructional methodology must continually evolve in order to meet, educate, and stimulate the creative and collaborative minds that walk through our doors daily. So what is tools to go exactly? tools to go is the Windsor-Essex Catholic District School Board's answer to providing staff and students with equal access to first-class collaboration and productivity software. tools to go is available and can be used 
in grades 4 through 12 inclusively. We also have tools to go projects running in grades prior to grade 4, in special education programs, and with staff of all levels. Tools to go is our students' link to their personal learning resources anytime, anywhere, and on any device. We have been developing and molding tools to go for some time now. The Windsor Essex Catholic District School Board is one of the first boards in the province to use tools to go. We started our first pilot five years ago and have been working up to this point ever since. Tools to go is the WECDSB's version of Google Apps for Education. Google Apps for Education is free and available to any staff or student in our board. Our staff and students enjoy anytime, anywhere access to over 25 different learning tools, which are being improved and updated by Google regularly. Tools to Go is one of the most sophisticated online productivity software available. So what can you do with Tools to Go? Staff and students can create documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. They can collaborate real-time with other staff and students in these documents. They can save any type of file in the cloud for easy access at home or school. Soon, USB sticks will be a thing of the past. Online calendars are used to organize important appointments. Students can keep track of their work with electronic portfolios using Google Sites. Best of all, all of these tools will travel with the students when they graduate from our system. The Windsor Essex Catholic District School Board received a grant from the Ministry of Education called the 21st Century Learning Project. We leverage this opportunity to continue to introduce Tools to Go to more staff and students and provide support in its use. We began by introducing Tools to Go to every principal in the system. Each principal was introduced to the possibilities of Tools to Go in a workshop carousel. Principals were now able to decide which elements of Tools to Go should be implemented first in their schools. Phase 1. We started our training component by selecting and training 17 Tools to Go early adopters. Each of these staff members demonstrated incredible activities and proficiency with Tools to Go in their classrooms. This formed our expert group. Phase 2. We canvassed the board for staff who believed Tools to Go would help en engage students and effectively deliver curriculum in their classrooms. 77 recruits were added to the project. Training was provided in the best place we could find, in their classrooms, or in the school library interactive learning space. Our experts worked with both teacher and students to introduce them to how Tools to Go could help them. The Windsor-Essex Catholic District School Board builds community. The learning did not end after the meetings on site. Our leaders and recruits created a Google community where they could ask questions, share information, post exemplars, and find support 24-7. The community is vibrant and used daily. It was time to expand our borders. To continue the growth of our experts, we sent them to the first ever Google Summit held outside the United States. Over 400 educators from New York, Quebec, Ontario, and Michigan came together to learn from Google certified trainers and presenters. Our experts shared their experiences with our recruits through the Google community. Our very own Joe Sisko presented on how tools to go is integrated into the Provincial Learning Management System. It was now time to take it to the next level. The Google Summit experience was so successful that we decided we needed our own Google Certified Trainers. We sent seven experts to Newmarket, Ontario for extensive boot camp training and they are now well on their way to their own certification. Each expert will have to write a series of exams and perform a number of tasks to earn this prestigious designation. What's next? Evidence has been collected and is currently being analyzed to measure the effectiveness of tools to go and how we can do better next year. Our experts are constantly being inundated with new requests for tools to go information. In order to meet the growing demand for training on tools to go, 
the Google Bootcamp Group proposed a two-day conference called the Windsor-Essex Catholic District School Board Tools to Go Summit. Executive Council agreed and approved the summit, which will take place at St. Joseph's Catholic High School on August 28th and 29th. The conference is for both new and experienced users and will allow staff to learn, share, and collaborate more using Tools to Go. Plans are underway to apply for a new grant that will aid us in continuing the inertia created this year. We will utilize our seven new Google Certified Trainers to run workshops throughout the year. Hello, my name is Joe Sisko and my title in the Windsor Essex Catholic District School Board is eLearning Contact, or ELK. The Ministry of Education has funded one ELK for every school board in the province of Ontario. A primary focus of my role is to lead and coordinate use of the Provincial Learning Management System, or LMS. In the 2012-2013 school year, more than 3,300 students and 130 teachers accessed the LMS. This represents about 16% of our population. Blended learning is the combination of face-to-face -face teaching with all of the great web and digital resources available to us, including, of course, tools to go. The LMS is the perfect place for teachers to deliver a blended learning model with their classes. On the surface, the LMS is essentially a class website managed by, more th managed by the teacher, but it is actually much, much more. Let's take a look at some of the creative ways that WetDSB teachers are using the LMS. This, is, this classroom is Susan Hanna's grade 9 computer class at Brennan High School. I like to say classroom because it is imperative that the digital learning environment of the LMS meets all of the needs of, their, of teachers in their regular face-to-face -face environment. With the LMS, Ms. Hanna posts course assignments and content so that students can access them anytime, anywhere. This next class is a very creative use of the LMS, inspiring meaningful, meaningful collaboration among teachers and students from Villanova Secondary School and three elementary schools, St. Bernard in Amherstburg, Holy Cross, and St. Joseph in River Canard. Teachers had release time to collaborate and create literacy modules that will ease the transition from grade 8 to grade 9. These modules were then used by each of the grade 8 classes at the elementary schools and shared with grade 10 applied students from Villanova. Wow, what collaboration! Learning goals are a large part of how teachers develop, de deliver curriculum in alignment with growing success. This teacher, Teresa Lucas at Assumption High School, has created a widget on her LMS that displays the big ideas for a unit on metabolic processes. As you can see, teachers may customize the look and feel of the LMS to meet their needs and the needs of their students. This is Michelle Barnes's grade five class at St. John de Brebeuf Elementary School. She has created a widget that displays homework by subject that, any, that students can access from a school computer or at home on any device. In this way, the LMS serves as a message board in a private, safe, secure environment. Sonia Janot is one of our of the Windsor Essex Catholic Church School Board's e-learning teachers. She actually teaches entire classes remotely using the same LMS that she uses for her blended learning class. This class, her grade 12 English class, is a blended learning class, so she sees her students each day but uses the LMS to display exemplars of student work. In a face-to-face -face situation, teachers fill the classroom walls with student work and often use exemplars to help students understand and meet expectations. In a digital environment, the LMS is the perfect place for letting all students learn from each other. This class, Paul Sobel's Grade 10 English class at Catholic Central High School, is a great illustration of teacher collaboration. This particular widget about the novel The Handmaid's Tale features several resources including links to a movie trailer and character outlines. The important piece is that with this widget was created in collaboration with other English teachers, so all these teachers use this widget in their classes and students are witness to meaningful collaboration. Lena Bernoni's grade 12 biology class at Brennan shows something that may be done using the LMS that is actually very hard to do or may not actually be able to be done in a face-to-face -face environment. Lena's students took part in a field trip to Hotel Du Hospital. Lena created a Google slideshow with several pictures of students and their experience. To take this a step further, the LMS is a great way to display student presentations in the same way. I can only imagine the conversations between students and students and students and their parents after seeing their work online or even another student's work. 
This certainly inspires all students to up their game and always do their best work. This class is Emily Lamarzi's grade one class at St. John de Brebeuf. She makes good use of the Ontario Educational Resource Bank, or the OERB. The OERB is managed by eLearning Ontario and is essentially a province-wide sharing space for Ontario teachers. The WEC DSB has completed this integration with the OERB, so Emily, as a teacher, can direct these young students to, to interactive learning objects like the one below without having to log in or remember any passwords. The last class I would like to show you is a grade 7 class at St. Rose Elementary. Lori Clement is a very creative teacher who has used the power of the internet in many ways and the LMS is perfect for all that she does. Skype in the Classroom is a program where classes may correspond with other like-minded classrooms around the world. Lori has contacted teachers in Brazil, Turkey, Croatia and Belarus to collaborate on an activity called the Utopia Project. Students from St. Rose and Windsor worked with foreign students to create a utopian country. Their project was to develop a presentation about their country complete with information about economics, geography and lifestyles in their newly created countries. The scroll down menu that you see is a list of websites that were created using tools to go, but more importantly, they were created in collaboration with pairs of students from St. Rose, with pairs of students from Croatia or Brazil or Turkey. Again, the learning and joy experience with our St. Rose students viewing their peers' work in the LMS cannot be understated. In summary, the Provincial Learning Management System is the place to bring the blended learning model to our WE CDSB learning community. Teachers can post course content, use the power of multimedia like video, audio and presentations. Teachers can also use the LMS to display student work by students to, ensure, to inspire sharing and collaboration. In the LMS, students can submit digital assignments to teachers from anywhere, anytime. I would like to leave you with a scenario that illustrates the amazing tools available to our students. Consider the following scenario. In his grade 11 English class, Hakeem goes to the library and created his, creates his novel study using tools to go. He then shares his Google Doc with a classmate who happens to be in London for a hockey tournament. On the weekend, he visits the public library, logs into his Tools to Go account, and completes his writing piece incorporating the online feedback that he received from his friend. When it is due, he logs into the provincial LMS and submits the file directly to his teacher from his Tools to Go account. This is accessibility. This is collaboration. This is learning in a digital environment. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Fair and I'm the Library Media Coordinator with the Windsor-Essex Catholic District School Board. In the fall of 2012, I began the task of traveling out to all elementary and high school library sites, meeting with school administrators to offer my help and support when it came to the library vision. Every principal of their own accord wanted to see the same vision, a space where students and teachers alike could access information at their ease. Each library space was its own entity, each room left in its own state of organization. The main goal was to make the libraries interactive and engaging learning spaces. What we have done is made use of the already existing materials and organized them into user-friendly bins that support the Ontario curriculum. This system makes it very easy for staff and students alike to access the materials they need on a daily basis. Teachers were inundated with materials at the end of the last school year. Many have struggled with how to make these extra resources work in their classrooms. The vision with the, with the classroom libraries was a twofold one. First, to make a leveled library collection. Students can go with ease, knowing their reading level, and make their own independent reading selections. They have many different materials to choose from, fiction and nonfiction included. An added bonus we now see is that this creates time for our teachers to accomplish other tasks and it's also a great motivator for students to improve on their own reading levels. The second part of this vision is the free choice areas for reading. Students want the ability to choose material that they're interested in. Very much like the times when they would travel to the library to select a book, they can now accomplish the same goal in their own classroom. Students love to have that sense of independence and make choices based on what they want. 
Here is where we have a chance to build that love of reading that we hope follows them the rest of their lives. And here we see interactive learning spaces now within our schools, making use of existing libraries, bringing students and their resources together in engaging spaces that foster learning for all students. Rooms with computers for independent work, carpeted areas for reading, smart boards for interactivity, and iPad cards. Alongside our technology, we have rooms with traditional library materials that augment our students' learning, seamlessly blending print materials with the technology they need. This model is now progressing down its own path. Since this process began, it has taken on a life of its own. We no longer have to approach administrators to show them the vision. Word of mouth has spread on its own. Administrators and teachers are contacting us and wanting this organization for their schools. Behind me, you have the uh, nice collection that has just been sorted by Liz. Uh, this is completely non-fiction, so, uh, sorted by curriculum level, so that uh, what would have happened prior to this is that we took out all the fiction, put them into the classrooms, into leveled classroom libraries, which is, uh, makes sense from a pedagogical point of view. Behind me is the non-fiction, so this entire space now uh, can be utilized for technology, for print, as well as manipulative use. So we've uh, affectionately called this the learning pit. Um, the name has been branded PIT, staying for Print, Information, and Technology. The ET2 team began the 2012-2013 school year with a vision to create communication portals for each school site. Building upon the beta version first launched by Doug Sadler at St. Joseph's Catholic Secondary School, the portals were intended to act as a one-stop shop providing online access to all digital resources and social media. Believing that most people are accessing online resources from their smartphones or tablets, and knowing that traditional websites tend to be difficult to navigate from small touch screens, we wished to develop something simple, clean, and easy to navigate. The concept was to make a web portal that imitates the functionality of an app but does not come with the expense and pro programming required to create and maintain. Additionally, it was extremely important for the portal to work on all devices regardless of the operating system. In three short months, we were able to create and deliver 48 turnkey school web portals, all of which are accessible via the Windsor-Essex Catholic District School Board's website. Subsequently, all 48 school administration teams received as much personal training and support as they required to become comfortable and proficient with the new communication tools that accompanied the web portals. Everything you need to know about the school can be found in one place and it can be accessed from any device that is on the internet. Blogs are a major new communication tool that accompany the web portals. The blog is a digital message board that allows everyone to see all of the great things that are going on in our schools. In many of our elementary schools, it has replaced the monthly newsletter by providing an ongoing chronology of events. In our high schools, daily announcements are published on blogs giving students and parents more access to critical information. One popular feature of the blog is the ability to translate to 51 different languages. This allows our schools to reach our parent community in their native language. Online calendars help our schools keep the parents and community current with events and activities. This tool reduces the need to send home monthly paper calendars that could end up being out of date only days after being printed due to unforeseen schedule changes. Twitter is a popular social media tool that many of our students are currently using. By creating school Twitter accounts, we have been successful in communicating with our students using a media form that they have already embraced and it allows our educators to model appropriate use of social media. 
Twitter also enables a communication community where we have linked together the church with the board and our schools so that we can share our good news stories. Photo galleries and YouTube channels give us an opportunity to showcase school pride by displaying the talents of our students and staff. Websites were not part of our original mandate, but when visiting school administrators, we had requests to improve upon their school web presence, and we were pleased to be able to offer them new Tools to Go sites that are cleaner and easier to maintain. The Web Portal project has easily been the most successful, widely accepted IT project I've worked on in 16 years at the school board. Our success is due partly to the fact that our school administrators truly have a desire to tell everyone about the good things that happen on a daily basis in their schools. They are proud of the accomplishments of their students and staff, and the blogs and Twitter really give them the ability to share these achievements. I also believe the method of delivery played a large role in the success. By delivering a turnkey solution with on-site training and accessibility to as much follow-up assistance as required really kept the momentum going. A few months ago we had the E2 team come by to the school and uh, they were giving us the option of running the blog and the app and I was a little hesitant at first but uh, be just because of my own familiarity but once we got the school on board and once we were able to make the blog live, uh, the feedback from the community has been fantastic. We, the one option that really works for St. James School is the translator option that's on the blog because we have a lot of uh, new families, new um, immigrants that are settling into the area and it's a great way to increase that communication and that understanding of information. And it's in real time, so the fact that we can have an event at the school during the day and by the end of the day it can be posted with pictures and um, a little bit of an information, an article on it, that really ties in with the community and that communication piece with the home. It helps us a lot better to tighten that communication because when we're looking at a newsletter, in a newsletter we respond and we put out information once a month. This can be ongoing, this can be multiple times in a day and I've heard nothing but wonderful praise from the parents and the community that uh, they really value the blog. We've, had, we've been on just a, a short time, a few months, we've had 1,100 hits on the blog. So that's telling us that what we're doing is working, that the community is responding, and um, anything we can do to keep that communication strong and we can promote uh, all of the positive things that are happening at our school, it's, it's a win-win for everybody, for the school and the community. So we're grateful that we're able to offer that and we're looking forward to even pushing that further come the next school year. One of the ET2 team's goals this year was to focus on making learning technology really useful in our schools. Much of our efforts involved working directly with school administrators, staff and students to seek out solutions that work for each situation. One project which we are particularly proud of is the mobile iPad cart solution. We combined iPads, wireless access points, Apple TVs with projectors and speakers to create a fully interactive mobile presentation platform. We continue working with staff and students to find apps that allow them to push the limits of their abilities. We want our students to be able to seamlessly create collaborate, and learn in an environment that keeps them engaged. The ET2 team's accomplishments this year have truly been a team effort. Everyone brought a valuable set of skills to the table and a commitment to make it work. The energy that this team contains is absolutely infectious and it really makes work fun. We could not have achieved the level of success we enjoyed without the feedback from many individuals within the board. Special thanks to Doug Sadler for his guidance and leadership over the course of the year and to the support from senior administration who accepted ideas and encouraged individual growth. We look forward to continuing to integrate information technology in the 2013-14 school year and expand upon the progress made this year.
As you can see, the ET2 team has been extremely busy this school year. The success of the varied projects has revitalized and energized a system on the cusp of cultural change. The team looks forward to embracing future challenges in the new school year that assist in enhancing faith development in student achievement.